welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have another sneak peek diamond painting from Diamond Art Club to share with you. Yes, a midweek sneak peek. I'm so lucky. <laughs> Thank you so much Diamond Art Club for sending this to me. Uh, this is going to be releasing tomorrow, Wednesday the 12th uh, of July and uh, let's let's get right into it. I nearly stabbed myself trying to get the box open but here we are a round drill diamond painting from Diamond Art Club and it is Elf Gnome Trio with Reindeer by Diane Cater. <gasps> Look at that, it's so cute! Happy Christmas in July everybody! This is a round drill diamond painting 66 centimeters by 51 centimeters so not too bad, not too big. I hope everybody's doing well. It's good to get back to filming videos, so uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're liking these videos, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up as it helps the channel grow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Let's go ahead and get into this box and see what the canvas... Ooh! If I can not drop things, see what the canvas looks like. Inside here we have a toolkit. We have the diamond painting and we have the sticker. And put this on the side of the box if you like or in your journal or what have you anything that you want uh, in the toolkit now this is gonna have everything but the tweezers most people don't use tweezers with round drill diamond paintings some people do raise your hands down in the comments below if you're one of those people we've got an orange pen in this one they're all different by the way but they usually match, yeah. See, they match the little pen grip and the pen itself. Got some baggies. We've got two plates of heart-shaped wax here. We've got some pretty washi tape. You can use that for the edges of the painting if you like. The diamond painting tray with the stopper. And then we have, oh, that's cute, a little cover minder and two multi-placers. One's a four and one's a seven. Uh, someone is asking me how to use cover minders. I'll leave that out and actually show you <clears throat> how I use a cover minder if you've never used one before. So let's open up this diamond painting and have a look at it. It's so cute, isn't it? I know that there's a lot of you out there that love gnomes. And I thought that the, they, they sent me a couple to choose from, and I thought this was the cutest, and it's small, nice and doable, you know, a good size. So it looks like the majority color here is going to be like light blues. And then we've got some greens, some reds, of course, because it's Christmas, some white as well for snow. And then we've got, this is an instruction booklet. It has a coupon in it as well. Um, and you can access the VIP group, the Facebook VIP group through there. Um, here is the image itself. Isn't that adorable? I love, I love this style as well. Super duper cute. There are 38 colors in here and we've got one AB. We've got a fairy dust diamond. And then we've got maybe two crystals? I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But yeah, this is the all the symbols. Nice and easy to read in case you need to pause at any point. And let's go ahead and look at the canvas. Super soft as always. Love this canvas material. It's just so nice to work with. I'm going to roll it backwards so that we can see it nice and flat. If you're looking to purchase from Diamond Art Club for the first time, I do have a coupon down below. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but I just want to let you know in case you would like to save some money on your first order. Look at that. That is so doable. And it's so little. Oh my goodness. Now, when I first started diamond painting, I wouldn't have called this little. I would have called this my sweet spot. Uh, 50 by 60, a 40 by 50. That's what I wanted to do back in the day. I haven't worked on one this small in a long time. Um, I think that the canvas has got pretty big. So if you're looking for something that's a bit smaller, this is a really nice one to do. 
This one has a little bit of a mix here. Most of it is color blocking. So like the sky is all one color except for the wisps that you can see and the little snowflakes. Um, your reindeer is like four colors, five colors, something like that. We've got big areas of white down here. Um, so there's, there's some color blocking, but there's a lot of single placing in this too. So if you enjoy just single placing, I think you're going to have fun with this particular kit. It's not just all blocked color. We've got a legend on both sides there for you. Information about the artwork, information about their social media, etc. on the canvas here. And then I'll show you a close up. Let's look at the reindeer because the reindeer is super cute. Here are our symbols. And as you can see, there's actually glitter on the glue. It's really really pretty it's it's a good experience I really I really enjoy their their canvases I'll be honest um, so cover minders uh, this one is this one right here it doesn't matter how you start your canvas uh, you pick a corner and you go from there right some people start from the middle it's up to you you do what you want but the way that this works is that when you're working, you want to hold back your plastic. For me, I'm right-handed and I always start in the upper left corner so that my arm and my hand and this sleeve and everything doesn't get on the diamonds because I have a lot of dog hair in my life. So I pull back this corner. If you don't want to use washi tape or release papers or whatever, just pull it back like that. And then put the, sorry, this comes with a magnet attached. So you separate these. This goes in the front, this goes in the back. Sandwich it in between your canvas. And there you go. That's how the cover minders work. This way the plastic won't be moving away from this spot too much. And uh, yeah, that's how a cover minder works. I love that they include them now, which is super cute. I have a very large collection of these now. But yeah, that is that. Let's go ahead and look at the diamonds real quick. And we'll see where the specialty drills go. Feel free to skip this part if you want to. All right. So we know we have all of these white drills. There's four bags of off-white, 38.65. And we have this bag of the ABs, 107. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it is an iridescent coating on the top of the drills. It makes them kind of a metallic sparkle. Then we have Z598. There are two bags of this, and a, yes, it is a fairy dust diamond. Fairy dust means that it has glitter on top of the drill. Can you see it right there? 775, 817, ooh, yes, I was right. So L5200 is a crystal. These crystal rhinestones are very pretty. They're super metallic looking. And you're gonna put these just like the other drills face up so you'll see that really bright crystal there. Not these flat backs, that goes on the canvas. We have 498, 434, 435. 3325, 433, 699, 436, 898, 318, and 700. Just beautiful green color. The sun has just disappeared, so the lighting has changed. I apologize for that. 3761, we have five big bags of that. That's the sky, no doubt. 3756 as well. And then we have this strand, 762, 937, 702, 814, 938, 780, 704, 739, 738, 782, 728, 300, and 604. Okay, so those are all the diamonds. 
Now, number one was that AB, and that's actually the brightest part of these hats, kind of in the middle there. It's surrounded by other colors, but the middle bit is the AB. Also in their shoes, the mittens as well, just accenting those points, and some in the cardinal, uh, and a little bit here on the blanket on the reindeer. Then we have the fairy dust diamonds, which is the this symbol right here. And that is all of the wisps going on. The, you know, the look of wind there. And I'm just looking around to see if there's any other areas. No, that is it. Just in the like windy areas and there's some around this particular hat, this white hat right here. The yellow colored crystals is the plus sign and that is in the little bells here around the reindeer's uh, head and then also in this little star and in the beak of the bird and then the other crystal is the you know silver white crystal I guess you could call it and that is a backslash so that means all of the snowflakes and any little snow dots that are going on up in there uh, we've got more here, none in the beard or in the hats, and none in the snow. So it's just the snowflakes. That's going to be so cute. I can't wait to see this finished. If you finish this and you pop, pop it on Instagram, please tag me, Rachel Ray Official, over on Instagram. Please tag me so that I can see your finish because that is super duper cute. What do you think of the new releases coming on Wednesday? Do you think that you're going to get any of these kits for our upcoming Christmas season, winter season? I'd love to know down below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you all soon in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.